Quick fun fact. Out of the 50 U.S. states, well, 52 if you include D.C. and Puerto Rico, 21 of those states and territories have one NBA team. Now, that geographical breakdown is how we determine the Eastern and Western conferences. Now, subsequently, that's how we also determine the six divisions. And within those divisions, well, you have a lot of drama. You got a lot of news. You know what I'm saying? Like, it... It's a lot of content, bro, all right? So, you know, you're watching your favorite show's favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, so let's tune in and see what NBA division we're gonna talk about today. The Chicago Bulls have a wonderful player in DeMar DeRozan. I mean, a really good player, okay? He was an MVP candidate just last season. So now, the next statement I'm going to make kind of hurts because I don't believe he's going to get there again. Now, granted, to be fair, I didn't think he was going to get there this season, but he's a little older now, you know, about 32. I think his role is going to change. He does not need to be a number one option on the championship team, which is what he was playing like last season to un until, until about the All-Star game. So I need him to be a second option on a championship team, meaning he needs somebody to take over to help. That's going to get the Bulls in their best situation. Also, DeMar, real quick, I'm going to need a little bit more improvement on the defense. Uh, the Bulls as a whole, y'all weren't, y'all were a little shaky, but uh, you can be a leader in that realm. So I would like to see those things, but that's my take on DeMar DeRozan. Again, good player. Just not going to see him on the MVP list again. The Cleveland Cavaliers need to hire an exterminator because they just brought in Spider. That's right, Donovan, Mi Donovan Mitchell is on the Cavs, bro. So now we're pairing him up with Darius Garland and Evan Mobley with Jared Allen. That's kind of scary if you think about it, right? Because the Cavs just needed a go-to scorer. That's it. Well, they, okay, I mean, a little, a little perimeter defense like from wingtip, that would have been great too. But Donovan Mitchell serves as that go-to score. I do want to see a couple things like, is this going to be the new Dame and CJ pairing, right? Because we saw they brought no championships at all. No disrespect. Then, I want to see who's going to be the leader of this Cavs team. We already know Darius Garland is the leader. But bringing in Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland is young, like I established early on, might be. Mitchell might say, excuse me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then also, can Donovan Mitchell finally improve his defense to what it should be? I'd appreciate that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But hey, this Cavs team with Donovan Mitchell, hella scary, bro. The Indiana Pacers have a wonderful situation right now. They have no expectation, and they have trade assets, one of them being Buddy Heald. All right, now, Buddy Heald is a tremendous shooter, and I actually believe that Buddy Heald has top say top five shooting potential that's why i said top five shooting potential in the nba his trade value should be a respectable one in my personal opinion so if and i'm a lakers fan if we finesse them for buddy healed that would be stellar the pacers need to realize who they have on their team uh should they actually try to keep buddy Hill? since i just said i just said he's top five shooting potential i think you need to let him go he's 29 he's not fitting in with the timeline of the pacers now but buddy Hill, he could be a winner he could be a bucket he needs to be on a championship contender like right now just saying so buddy wish you the best i wish you the best buddy We all know that the Detroit Pistons boast a wonderful stud in Cade Cunningham. All right, now I'm a big Jalen Green fan, Scotty Barnes fan, Evan Mobley fan, but you gotta love Cade Cunningham's game all around. He can be a tremendous defender. He's a hell of an offensive talent. All right, like the boy is special, okay? Now, when I look at Cade though, he needs to take the next step. We see the ability, now I need to see it on a consistent basis. You need to go up against the all-stars, the quality players, and perform the same way. I also want to know, well, can you eclipse that rookie class? The people I just named, I want to see if you can show, hey, I'm definitely better than them. Question mark. Also, how do you pair well with Jaden Ivey? I'm, I'm looking forward to see that because I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a scary duo. And again, you have all-star expectations. So I want to see how close you are to getting that. So looking forward to see how Kay Cunningham and the Detroit, and the Detroit Pistons do this year. 
the Milwaukee Bucks might be on a decline, bro. Like, when I'm looking at a couple of the reports that I've seen, and then I'm looking at the game that I'm watching, like, mm, like Giannis might want to go to the Bulls later? Oh, that's crazy. Then you got Chris Middleton to worry about, right? Like, all right, he's coming back off his injury during the playoffs. How's he going to return? I already wasn't the biggest fan of Chris, but, hey, he played well for a couple seasons, right? So we got to factor him in. Then you got Drew Holiday, who is 32, by the way. Got a lot of wear and tear on him. Is he going to be on the decline? That's a lot of stuff to worry about. So these Bucks, woo! I'm just saying. And finally, who the hell going to step up? I just listed off the big three. Where's they back up? They going to believe in Bobby Portis like that? Mm, I personally wouldn't. So again, the Bucks. We might see them on a decline. Yet, some people have them as their championship prediction. Let's see how it goes out, though. Didn't I tell you there was drama? Didn't I tell you there was news? Didn't I tell your ass you were gonna like it? Like, bro, there's so much to talk about within the divisions. Like, who's crazy? But don't worry, though. We will definitely have more to talk about. There's so much more to talk about, so... Don't, 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 don't be upset. But look, please continue to support the page. You know, like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of your favorite show's favorite show. Get a bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care.